gosh. Sorry. Um, these days I'll learn how to point the camera in the right direction. He just, he's adorable, right? He's adorable? Yes, he's adorable. But guess what? Every living thing, including you, me, and this fatty right here, poops. He just took a massive dump, and it smells like, well, I don't need to explain because, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's a, that's a terrific way to begin a vlog. But, you know what? It's Monday night, I just got home from work, my day job, and I am strangely in a decent mood. It's Monday and I'm... <laughs> anyway, um, ladies and gentlemen, your boy, Donnie Spielberg here, has 230 subscribers! I finally hit 230! Yes! 230! It's a nice round number. I was at 229 for like the last six weeks, I want to say. No, more than that. Like the last month, I was at 229. And then it dropped down to 227. And then it went back up to 229. And I was like, Am I going to get up to 229? Am I going to get any more? Is it going to happen? And then I went on right now. And I saw 230. And I was like, OMG, oh, oh goodness, oh, I don't talk like that, this is uh, uh, Sesame Street. Anyway, uh, my point simply being that I could not be happier to have 230 subscribers. Uh, that was a lousy Joker, Joker deserves better than that, and that lighting, ooh, that lighting better, okay, good. So, it's Monday, um, I want to do a vlog right off the bat so it's not all late and stuff, um, because that's something I do. Uh, I also want to tell you guys, without giving away any spoilers, um, I have a couple big videos coming up, and not just my Rudolph Valentino video, but I have a couple big videos coming up because I bared my soul to you, bore, my, bared, bore, what's the proper grammar there? Bared, bore, anyway, I opened up myself to you guys. Um, last year with Bearing My Soul Part 1, where I told you guys about my mom and Star Wars Episode 1 and why I do enjoy Star Wars Episode 1 and that theater, etc. Um, uh, I have another little thing about myself that I want to share with you guys. And this is pretty heavy because a lot of people know about my mom, obviously. But this one, Bearing My Soul Number 2, there we go, two. Um, this one, not many people know about, okay? Uh, a handful of people know about it, but it's, it's, it's really embarrassing for me. And don't worry, I'm not going to make it awkward. I'm not going to make it weird or anything like that. It's, let's, let's just say it's a big insecurity that I have had um, since I was a kid. A big issue. It's really, really stupid. It's, it's really stupid. But the point is, the reason why I want to share it with you guys is because... Sometimes it helps to know, you know, I'm not the only one out there with insecurities, obviously. I mean, everyone out there, we're all insecure about something, you know. Um, personally, I feel short still. I still feel like a short guy. I'm 5 foot 11. If my spine was straight, I would be 6 foot 2. Um, but I'm 5 foot 11. But hey, I feel short. Do you know why? Because I didn't reach my full height until I was probably in my early 20s. I was 4 foot 11 throughout high school. So, I didn't, you know, that short, the short, whatever you want to call it, is ingrained up here. So, good luck with that. Subconscious does not speak English, you know? I don't know what language the subconscious speaks, because if we knew how to get through to the subconscious, I think a lot of us would, you know, be a little bit happier and have less insecurities. But, anyway, I don't want to get sidetracked. Um, I want to tell you guys about, I'm not going to do it in this video, I'm just giving you a heads up. Um, I want to tell you guys about um, this insecurity that I've had since I was a kid. Like I said, some of you know about it, but anyway, um, because like I said, all of us have something that we're insecure about, something or some things, and sometimes it helps to know that we're not alone, okay? And like I said, this, it's stupid, it's stupid, but I want to share it with you guys. And then I'm gonna wrap it up when I'm done sharing it with you guys. I'm gonna wrap it up in a nice, with a, wrap it up with a nice. How does the expression go? With a nice little bow, and bring it home for you guys because there's somewhere I'm going with it. So stay tuned for that. Now, 
Now, let's get back to Mr. Rudolph Valentino for a second here. Mr. Rudolph Valentino, let me make this really, um, motorcycle, you're, you're pushing it, man. You're pushing it. Um, Mr. Rudolph Valentino, this guy right here, okay? I'm not getting any, I'm not getting the best of this chair with the frosty available for the Ashton. I'm not getting into any spoilers for my video, but some of you out there may be wondering, of all the movie stars out there, of all the even silent movie stars out there, why, oh why, oh why am I so hot on Rudolph Valentino? Why am I so passionate about Rudolph Valentino? Anyone wonder why? Well, I'll tell you why. The, the reason is because of all the movie stars out there, you have, you know, you have James Dean, you have Marilyn Monroe, you have Clark Gable, um, Judy Garland, and f I'm going to start off by saying those are all some of the best actors in Hollywood history. They're amazing, okay? Now let's get to silent Hollywood. Charlie Chaplin. Um, Buster Keaton. Uh, Mary Pickford. Um, Lon Chaney. Why am I not right now currently doing a video about them? Okay, the reason why, guys, is because people like Charlie Chaplin and even Lon Chaney and Mary Pickford, they're mainstream. Even people who don't like silent movies know about Charlie Chaplin and um, Lon Chaney. Well, maybe not so much Lon Chaney, but then my point is everyone knows about Charlie Chaplin. And guys, something that I do, something that I find interesting is the quote-unquote underdog, okay? And for my namesake, Steven Spielberg, that's been... Pretty much the cornerstone of his career is most of the time, most of the movies he makes, the big hits that he makes are about underdogs. Okay? It's about the underdog basically becoming the hero. Okay? So, unfortunately, Rudolph Valentino is not mainstream. I mean, he, he's, he's mainstream, but he's not as well known as Charlie Chaplin. And, guys, I think that is a crime. That is a crime. And I'm not going to go into more detail because... That's what my video's for, but the reason why I say he's not mainstream, first of all, is because I tell people, I tell my barber, I tell my friends and stuff um, that I'm, you know, working on a video about Rudolf Valentino, and you know what they say? They're like, who's that? If I were to tell them about Charlie Chaplin, everyone knows about Charlie Chaplin. Okay? Everyone knows about, um, I can't think of any more examples. My point is, Rudolf Valentino is not as mainstream and well-known as people like Charlie Chaplin, which I, like I said, I think that's a crime. And some of the things that I'm showing you guys, the lighting is really good here, some of the things I'm showing you guys in my video are some, no, that's getting into spoilers. Never mind. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's why I'm so passionate about Rudolph Valentino, aside from the fact that he had a deep voice like me and he was, well, I guess he was, I guess I'm a little bit taller than he was. Um, he's got me beat in every other aspect. He's better looking than I was, than I am, I was. I'm still alive. Anyway, point, oh my gosh, English tonight, man. So, that's why I'm so passionate about Rudolph Valentino is because he deserves the attention, frankly. Okay, especially when you know his story, when you know what happened to that guy, when you know what he, what, in his life story and what his, his, what he wanted out of life, what his dream was and then the details of the end of his life, I think his story deserves to be told, okay? That's the best way I can put it. And I said in my Lindsay Sterling video, and I'm gonna say it again, because I am doing my Rudy video for the love and respect of the man, Rudolph Valentino, I am not monetizing my video with ads. I don't want any money for this video. Even, I mean, I don't, I'm not a YouTuber who even makes money from my videos. I'm, I'm hundreds of thousands of subscribers away from that point. Um, but even if I were, even if I were big like, like let's say, FoosyTube, if I was big like FoosyTube with 8 million subscribers, I still wouldn't monetize my Valentino video. So, I'm doing this for respect out of him, 
respect. That came out right. Good lord. Um, I'm doing this for for my, you know, uh, admiration for him as a person. So there we are. Uh, I think that's about all I had to say in this vlog. I just really wanted to do an update, check in with you guys, let you know that I'm thinking about you, and I appreciate the love, I appreciate the support. I love all of you, and especially to those new ones who have clicked subscribe recently, and lucky number 230, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank you, my fat cat, who is... Say thank you, fat. My fat cat thanks you as well, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun together, okay? Um, yeah, I guess that's about all I had for this vlog, so I'll wrap it up now. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great week. It's going to be a great week, short week. And, um, yeah, so... <laughs> um, mm. It shares this video with its friends and family. Does this whenever it's told, or else it gets the hose again. It leaves some comments below. Does this when it's told. It's the thumbs up button. And it subscribes if it hasn't already. Thank you guys for everything. I love you all. Bye for now.